Time belt on the line. Introducing first. And a first ever defense for Rossi Rascal against this man. He is the challenger. The challenger. Right. Ten years in ring experience. Damon Havoc. His belt for the first time this evening. Rossi Rascal is taking on the 10 years target veteran, king of short style, Damon Havoc. In this contest, Damon Havoc has held the high octane division title once before in his illustriously long career, and he'll be looking to make himself a two time high octane champion. Alongside the likes of Owen Michaels, who is also a two-time high octane champion. Very nice catch wrestling happening in front of us. Owen Michaels, the man who Rossi Rascal beat for the high octane belt. Very evenly matched start here. Very technical, intelligent wrestling. It's something that we've seen from Damon Havoc. It's a bit of a pattern of his. Very good technician. Rossi Rascal with that judo, jiu-jitsu background though. is able to grapple with the best of them. And he's made a fantastic start to his target wrestling career. As he's been forced down to the ground. Look at this fantastic stuff and some mockery from David Havoc there showing off what he can do. And after 10 years, like I've mentioned already, wrestling for Target, he has quite the plethora, quite the arsenal of moves at his disposal. Once again, there's another attempt at a tie up. This time, Rascal with the takedown. Good reversal there. The snap there from Rascal rolls through David Havoc. There's a lot of respect being shown here, and it's a bit uncharacteristic for the King of Short Style, Damon Havoc, who is somebody that is not afraid to extend, maybe exploit the rules of the sport, is a better way to term it. And, I mean, there's another prime example there. He's, he's an intelligent wrestler this looks to send rascal off the ropes who avoids the trip havoc walks straight into that head scissors takedown european uppercut in the corner we're going to see another one from rascal it was more of a diving punch the second one though reversal from havoc here rascal gets out the corner cartwheels himself away and it's a beautiful drop kick some great athleticism goes for the pin and it was almost enough to keep hold of the High Octane Division Championship belt. And Rossi Rascal winning that belt after quite a fantastically exciting start to his Target Wrestling career. Undefeated still here at Target Wrestling. As he jumps inside the ring and tries to go off that top rope. Nobody home. And Damon Havoc just steps out the way very intelligently there style of Samoan Joe that you might have become accustomed to if you're a keen wrestling fan. Havoc now going to work on Rossi Rascal. Those aggressive striking style that he has there. He's going to look to choke out Rossi Rascal on that middle rope. Now on the apron here, he's been quite quiet so far is Damon Havoc's tag team partner, the personification of greatness, Roy Story. It's a good power slam there from Havoc and the leg drop with the pin combination. Too casual, you have to say. And I think Havoc is just having a bit of fun with the referee there. But Roy Story is on the outside, accompanying his tag team partner. 
Damon Havoc. And what part will the personification of greatness have to play? There he is. Finally coming into play there. Roy Story giving more of an advantage to Havoc. And it's taken quite a while for him to get involved there, so very smart from both men. As Havoc sends Rascal into the corner and follows up with a great European style uppercut. Again in the corner, looks to go again. Up, roll up, manages to kick out. Wow, and just clocks Rossi Rascal there in the jaw with a right arm. Again, continues to punish the high octane champion. This is his first defense. It's good on the hook suplex there. Goes for the quick pin. Havoc is starting to go to work here. Some fantastic technique from the veteran technician. The king of short style with the knee to the back. Now the chin lock applied. Just excruciating hold to be sat in. Fighting back now though is Rascal and it's been cut off there. He's been thrown to the ground. With a whiplash toss. Referee goes for the pin. I'm pretty sure at that point Havoc knew it wasn't going to be enough. At this point of the contest Havoc is looking to grind down the champion Rossi Rascal and once again this is Rossi Rascal's first ever title defense we know how important it is Rascal somehow gets out of there he was on the shoulders in a bad position spinning heel kick takes havoc off his feet stories on the apron there causing a bit of a distraction he's dropped the belt inside the ring though and Rascal has been distracted by the fact that Roy Story has put his hands on his silverware. And the referee has said that's enough for Story. And Story's been kicked out for picking up the belt there and causing that distraction. Look out, Havoc has him piled up and into the pin combination. Off that belly to backside suplex with the fisherman style hook pin. Not quite enough off the back of that distraction for David Havoc to win the high octane belt. And Rascal is once again in the position where he's going to have to fight back from underneath after that distraction. The momentum was very much in his favour. And now Havoc with the double underhook suplex. It's great stuff and it's going to be a lot. No, it's not. It's almost enough to make Havoc a two-time high-octane champion. But he's going to have to do a lot more in this contest. Rossi Rascal, like I've said, is undefeated in target wrestling. I believe his record stands at five matches and five wins. If he wins this matchup, and it's a great Russian leg sweep takedown there where you might have been able to see Havoc hit that monstrous clothesline of his. Instead, both men are down. The referee's count is now up to five, as you can hear. But both men are quite safely managing to reach their feet. Havoc's got to his feet first. And just as Rascal turns round, he manages to block a few shots. He's off the ropes here, he wants to look out for Havoc's clothesline. Havoc thinks he's got rid of him, but he hasn't. Rossi's hung on to the apron. And he's going to shoot himself in. Springboard crossbody into the pin. Referee's a bit slow to get down, and that might have cost Rascal the win at that stage. Referee a little bit slow to get down for the pin, which might have cost... Rossi Rascal and giving Havoc the opportunity to regain some kind of composure to kick out of that pin. 
Now Rasko. Oh! Huge headbutt and a right hand and whoa! A snap suplex. Off the lookout, here comes the Lariat! Boom, the head comes off. That's it, the new high octane. Now again! Rascal's kicked out. He just... Now again, going for the pin. We've seen these kind of moves before. It doesn't work. It's just grinding down your opponent. I mean, we can't believe it either. But the fantastic heart that's been on display from Rossi Rascal since the moment he stepped through the door here at Target Wrestling is showing no signs of stopping. And Havoc is just about to completely lose his composure. Now sends Rascal off the ropes, looks for the pop-up. Havoc bomb, spin kick to the knee there. It's well away. It's a power bomb from Rascal. And a huge knee strike might have just knocked Havoc clean out. Referee with the pit, it's just a two count. And I thought Havoc was seeing stars there. The smelling salts were going to have to come out, I thought. Fantastically quick offense from Rossi Rascal. The power bomb rolled through, setting himself up for the running knee. But Havoc is somehow still conscious. The champion Rascal is on his feet here, and he's calling for an end. Is he calling for that judo toss? Here it is! No! Havoc plants his feet, reverses, uses his head once again, shoots off the ropes, big lariat, misses it, Judo toss! He almost threw him out of his boots, and that's going to be the end! Two, three, and Rossi Rascal will keep the high octane division title. Congratulations, you have defended the belt successfully at the first time of asking. Well done to Rossi Rascal there, fantastic drama at the end. The best judo toss I've ever seen him do so far. Oh, look out, Stories here, a oh, low blow. That's not, not great, is it, for the personification of greatness? Low blows aren't great. Looking to assault the champion, Rossi Rascal here. Sienna in the pink on the stage is trying to establish some kind of authority along with the referee, but it looks like it's story time. Night, night, Rossi. Punishment has been given by Roy Story. And, uh, I think he's going to say he wants, he wants that high octane belt. It's not his, though. Rossi Rascal did win this evening and it looks like Roy Story is walking away with the high octane division belt. To find out what happens next, tune in.